Uh, my name is Ryan Wilson. I'm from Margaret, Alabama, and I'm representing Autobahn Birmingham. I thank Kyle Larson because he can get about, he can get in any kind of race car and just, he, he's good in anything he gets into. It's just, he's been a real idol of mine watching anything he's ever been in. No expectations. Uh, I think if you set them real high, you're going to be disappointed if you don't get the results you're looking for. So it's just, that's everything I do is just go into it with no expectations. Winning the uh, championship in 2019, like it was, uh, like I said, it was just crazy, you know. It was just unexpected and overall it was just a great experience. You know, everybody at home was all excited about it because there's nothing that's ever been like that before that's come back to our hometown. So overall it was just, like I said, unexpected, crazy, but it was all fun. Hey folks, Justin here with the American E-Car Championship. Sitting here with the defending champion, Ryan Wilson, representing Autobahn Indoor Speedway in Birmingham. First of all, it's, uh, it's great to be back, you know. Uh, it was a long road to get here. Been a long time, but uh, I don't know. We're just gonna go in with no expectations at all, like we did the first time we won it. And uh, just do what we can do, do the best we can, have fun. So this is our largest pool of racers. And like I said, they're the top at all of their locations, just like you're the top at your location. The biggest pool that we've ever had. Do you have any kind of strategies that you can share with us that's gonna help you stay at the front and defend that title? I have not got a plan yet. Just go out and be fast is all I can all I can think of, you know. Uh, we're still trying to just figure out, you know, figure out lines, figure out what's gonna be the best strategy to do on each track, qualifying, you know, race strategy. It's just gonna be a whole different, whole different ball game, I feel like, from Chicago. So you took the championship and it really propelled your career to the next step. You got a lot of invites. Can you talk to talk us through those? What, what happened after you won? Oh man, it was crazy. You know, uh, we've been doing a lot of stuff on the dirt racing side of the world. And uh, like I said, we've been coming back and this has just been making me a lot better. I feel like it's um, expanding my skill set, you know, just making me overall a lot better driver in every way. We're just a small race team out of Alabama and uh, we want to go all do all these big things, have all these big dreams, and just it propel us a lot to what we want to go do, I feel like.